Hello, namaste. Welcome to this class that is about inviting spaciousness into your body and your mind. And also, just a little question, can you also invite possibility in? Ah. So let's take a comfortable seat and we'll begin with a short meditation before we get stretching. So placing the backs of your hands to your inner legs, please curl index finger into thumb. Softly close your eyes. Take a full breath in through both nostrils. Open your mouth, let it out, big sigh. <sighs> let go of your day so far. Check in with yourself, how are you feeling today? Notice how you're feeling on every level, physically, mentally and emotionally. Meet yourself exactly where you're at. And then allow your whole presence, your, the whole essence that is you, the whole being that is you, to soften. So in other words, let go, let go of holding on throughout your outer body. Begin with your face. Let's see if you can scan every part of your face and check that you're not holding on. That there is a softening, literally from the forehead all the way down to your throat. No tension. Always the first thing to do in any yoga practice is to let go, let go of holding on. And then we can invite spaciousness in, we can invite new possibility in not only to our body, but to our psyche as well. Now bring your full awareness to your breath. Get present with every breath. Let every breath count from moment to moment. Be present with your inhalation, be present with your exhalation. Be present with the spacious spaces between the breaths. That is our practice, to become the observer of ourselves, to witness anything that is arising throughout our practice. That includes, of course, physical sensations with the stretches, but also anything that comes up for you emotionally, thoughts and feelings. So during this meditation, I have some questions for you to contemplate as you sit and bear witness to yourself. When opportunities come your way, do you take them? Do you have no regrets? Can you step out of your comfort zone quite easily? Are you open to trying new things? Can you seize the moment in the moment? Do you believe in yourself? Are you curious? Do you give in to your fears and anxieties? Do they hold you back? Basically, all of those questions become one question when I say, 
are you open to possibility? And that's this practice. Can we stay open? Begin to introduce Ujjayi breath now, if you're familiar with it. A lovely warm raspberry sound that we cultivate that from the back of the throat. And here's your mantra today. I am open. I am open to pure possibility. This practice involves opening our side body because that can invite so much spaciousness into our internal organs, especially the lungs and the heart and the diaphragm. So please softly fold your hands to your heart center. Stay lifted and bright through your inner body with the crown of your head moving up to the ceiling and then bow your chin to your heart center. Collarbones lifted. Today's practice, invite possibility in. Stretch long and longer still. Reach wide until the expanding space inside is filled with light. What began as a willful practice will generate its own energy. Offer this, the radiance of you, back to the universe. The give and take of breath calls, forward, calls forth your full expression in this practice. Birthing something new, something crucial that no posture can contain. Invite pure possibility into your being. Stay open. And we're going to seal that intention. Please feel free to join us by chanting one on together. Let's take a full breath in, Brian. And then a full breath out through the mouth. And then please join us after this breath in. you open your eyes hello welcome back release your hands so we're just going to begin staying here seated and taking a couple of yeah we might need to move slightly apart from each other taking a couple of side stretches you're going to reach your right hand over to the side be on fingertips inhale with your left arm in line with the ear and then just extend over with the right hand, really push the floor away so you can stretch into those intercostal muscles left side. Breathe fully here. Couple more breaths. One more, push the floor away right hand. Good, inhale, raise left arm. Exhale, it down, fingertips to the floor. Inhale, raise right arm. Arm in line with the ear. Exhale, extend over. We can really push into the floor with the left hand now. Breathe in and breathe out. Let possibility in. Invite spaciousness into the whole of your being. Couple more breaths. Then inhale, bring it up. Exhale, release. 
This time we're going to take our left hand to our right knee and right fingertips behind. We're going to sit really tall, breathe in. And as we exhale, just turn to look towards your right shoulder. So just a very gentle seated twist. Breathe fully here. Every exhalation, draw navel back to spine. And that will create the space for you to turn and twist a little bit more. Every time you breathe out, navel to spine. Good inhale, come back around to the front. And exhale, let's go straight to the other side. Breathe in, sit tall. Lift and lengthen, exhale, navel to spine. Create space and then the spaciousness for the inner organ so that we can twist more. And this time we're looking towards left shoulder. One more full breath. Inhale, come back around to the front. And exhale. Good. All right, so we're going to take our cushions to the side. I suggest you do the same. And let's just leave them actually to the side because we might need them again. Bye. And we're going to begin by coming onto hands and knees. Spread your fingers wide, press the pads of the knuckles down into the mat, and then let's take a full breath in, lift our collarbones forwards, lift our chest forwards, buoyancy in the upper body, look up, and then exhale to child pose. Inhale or pause. Try not to dump too much into the lower back. Here. Being flexible in the spine. Exhale back to child pose. Inhale or pause. Looking up. Exhale to child pose. Two more. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breathe in. And breathe out. Child pose. This time you're going to breathe in, come up. As you exhale, slide your right leg back to hip level. Left toes can tuck under. You're going to turn your toes towards me. You're going to ground your foot fully. And then we're going to inhale, raise right arm. And on the exhale, we're going to stretch that arm over the ear. Now what you might like to do first here is bring the arm in front, plug the arm bone into the socket, and then take it over. So we're really engaging shoulder blades. All right, full breaths here. Really stretching through the side body. Right thigh bone draws back, left side of chest to the ceiling. Take a full breath in, exhale, ground your hands, square the knee under the hip. Let's do the other side, so you're going to see the back of us now, I'm afraid. Inhale, open chest, look up. Exhale, slide your left leg back to hip level. Turn the toes, ground the foot fully. Left inner thigh draws back, right buttock tucks under. Inhale, raise your left arm. Let's do that thing again. So we're going to bring the arm forwards, plug it into the socket and then sweep over the ear. And we're gonna do that quite a lot today in this class. So it really engages the shoulder blades and allows us to safely stretch. One more full breath. 
baby fingers turn down. Then breathe in, look down at your mat. Exhale, ground your left hand, ground your left knee. So again, knees hip width, hand shoulder width. We're gonna to move to downward dog now. Take a breath in, look up. Exhale, tuck your toes under. Downward dog with bent legs, please, to begin. And some of you will maintain bent legs all the way through the practice with downward dog, if you're less flexible in the hamstrings especially. So breathing fully here. Again, practice that exhale, navel back to spine. And it always just takes the pressure out of the shoulders when we do that. So every time Brian draws navel to spine, as he exhales, it allows his shoulders to soften here. Good, it's gonna give him a little extra stretch. Sorry, I can't be doing this for you at home. Just gives him a lovely stretch through his side body. Make sure you breathe out. All right, so from our downward dog, knees bent, we're gonna breathe in, come back onto knees again, look up. And exhale, bring both hands to your hips. So you're kneeling, basically. Then we're gonna, I think my leg's gonna move out of camera action here, but certainly you'll see Brian's leg. We're going to slide right leg out to the side, toes turning forwards. Then take the back of the right hand to the outer right leg. Inhale, raise your left arm. And exhale, slide over, just sliding the right hand further down the leg. Can really pick up through the inner ankle, right foot. Little juicy stretch again for the side body. I'm going to go deeper and deeper with this today. So you should feel so spacious through the inner body by the end of this practice. Able to invite lots of possibility in, I hope. Good, breathe in, bring the left arm up. Exhale, hands, hips, bring right knee in. Side left leg out to the side, toes face forwards. Left hand to the hip, this time right arm will reach up. And exhale, slide the back of the left hand further down the leg and extend over. And again, you know what you could do if you wanted to, just to make sure you're really engaging the shoulder is draw the arm bone in, then sweep it up. And that is our alignment technique we're working with today in every pose. Good, inhale, raise right arm, exhale, both hands, hips, step left knee in. We're gonna bring this back to our downward dog. So come back onto hands and knees, shoulders over wrists. Knees can be slightly further back than hips. And then take a full breath in, look up. Tuck toes, exhale, downward dog. So again, you can be bent knees, bum lifting high, well, if you're more flexible and you really like the stretch into your calves and hamstrings, you could straighten the legs. But either option is perfectly acceptable. Now, this time from here, and I'm going to leave this to you to decide whether it's for you. And if you're feeling tired in your downward dog, especially if you're new to downward dog, you might just want to be back into child pose, this pose. But otherwise, what we're both going to do now is step right foot about our own foot's distance ahead of the left. And the same with the right hand, our own hand's distance ahead of the left. And then we're going to push away with the right hand, let our head hang and get a lovely stretch again through that right side body. And we just take about three breaths each side. You could bend the knee a little bit if you need to. Good, bring the hand back, take the foot back. Let's do the same with the left side. One foot's distance ahead of the right, one hand's distance ahead of the left. Full breath in and exhale, stretch into that. Great, I can really feel it moving into the calf, the Achilles. Can you, Brian? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, make sure the ball of the foot is really grounding and the left hand is pushing away so you also get that stretch into the intercostal muscles and under the armpits. Lots of muscles there. Good, step your left hand back, come back to a downward dog. One breath here this time. 
there. Listen carefully, guys. I want you to take a breath in. Step your right foot so it's between both hands and your left foot. Okay, so it's the centre of the mat and it's between your hands and your left foot. Now look up. Now even if you're a man, because Brian's going to do this, we're going to do a little curtsy. So I want you to step your left foot, baby toes further back than your right heel and ground the foot fully. Now you may find you need to bend the knees to ground the foot fully. So do do that. Walk hands back to feet, come onto fingertips, so you might want your hands on your block if you're less flexible. And then we take a breath in, look up, and exhale, fold. And this is a great stretch for the IT band. Quite often teach it in my classes. And you can see, you know, Brian's doing this with, with a slight bent leg too, so it's perfectly acceptable. And you wanna just really make sure that you're keeping the sacrum nice and balanced here. So that probably feels quite nice, does it, Brian, for you to ground down there? Yeah, it really extenuates the stretch. <laughs> does it? So. <laughs> and you are enjoying it today, yeah. aren't you? Good, okay, so we're gonna keep in that position. Let me get with him again. And then we're gonna bend the knees a little bit just to give us some steadiness and balance. Look up, and we're gonna sweep our arms up, inhale. On your exhale, you're going to take hold of your elbows. All right, we're going to take a full breath in. Arms are in line with the ears, and we are going to extend over to the left. Nice. Now we're going to breathe in, bring it up to centre, and we're going to extend over to the right. And you can feel that's a little bit deeper this side. So we're just going to hold this, a few more breaths. Try and keep nice and even through the feet. Breathe in centre. And then release the elbows, exhale, fingertips to the floor. Ground the hands and come back to downward dog. Just to balance out. And notice how you're feeling from side to side. Paying attention, observing. Remember you are the witness of yourself all the way through this practice. That's great then, we're gonna take a breath in, step left foot to the center of the mat. We're gonna step right baby toes over to the left and behind the heel. Walk fingertips back. Again, you may need hands on the leg or hands on a block here if you're less flexible or you may just wanna bend the knees. Full breath in, and exhale, we fold. Oh, the weight is even through both feet. Breathe into it. Every exhalation, so letting go of breath, try and soften, allow possibility in. Always allowing, that is this practice. Good, fingertips back out in front, bend the knees slightly so you're grounded as you come up. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, elbows. We take hold of elbows, we lean to the right for one breath. Then a breath in. And exhale to the left. And we hold this one for three breaths. Breathe in, centre. Good, exhale, hands, hips. We're going to come back to our downward dog, so breath in. Exhale, come forward, ground hands, step back again. We take three breaths here. Then you're going to breathe in, come onto your knees. Exhale to child pose. Please rest. Stay with your breath, stay present. Let's 
stay open. There is nothing to wall out or hold in. Stay open like the wide sky at twilight. Open as the ocean. Or the reach of the unknown. Open as a heart that chooses not to close. Reach your arms way, way out in front if you have relaxed your arms. Inhale, come back up to your downward dog. Let's carry on through the practice. Exhale, tuck your toes. Come up. This time on the inhale, we're going to raise our right leg. Look up between our hands. On your exhale, bring shoulders over wrists. Step right foot through and place back knee down. Lovely. Good. We're going to breathe in. Sweep our arms up. On our exhale, we're taking hold of the elbows. We're going to take one breath over to the left. We're going to inhale center. And then exhale three breaths over to the right. Your lungs will love you for this. They're going to feel so spacious afterwards. Breathing in, bring it up center. Exhale, place your right hand to your hip and stretch your left arm in line with the ear. Take a full breath in. And on your exhale, bring outer elbow of left arm to the outer right knee. Now before you kind of bring yourself into a proper twist here, low lunge twist, try and get the knee to resist the arm. So you really get to turn the upper body in, yeah? And then I'm gonna place right hand on top of left, elbows to the ceiling, front knee is over front heel, back knee is as far back as it can possibly go. Okay, so try not to be on the center of the back knee. Now breathe fully here. Your digestive system will love you for this sweet twist. Drink your breath. Your body loves her breath. She brings your whole being to a higher state of consciousness. One more full breath. Look down this time. Exhale, ground your hands. Let's come back to our downward dog. Bent knees or straight legs, you decide. I'm going to show modified here. I quite like this one. Come back to your rhythm, come back to steadiness. That's what these poses are inviting into our body. When we've done something a little bit more difficult, we come back to breathe. Come back to that inner state of steady breath and inner calm. Breathing in now, raise your left leg, look up. And on your exhale, bring shoulders over wrists. Step left foot through and place back knee down. Inhale, sweep both arms up. Exhale, take elbows. Knee to the right just for one breath. Inhale, center. And exhale, lean to the left for three breaths. Every time you breathe out, draw navel back to spine. Find that spaciousness your body craves. Inhale, center. Good, exhale this time, your left hand will come onto your left hip. Right arm will be straight. Full breath in. Exhale, lead your right outer elbow to your left outer knee. Now remember, you wanna get that resistance. You wanna really Twist first, then bring left hand over right and breathe fully here.
Fill the breath in, look down. Exhale. Woo, down the duck. How's that feel, Bright? Oh, well stretched from the legs all the way to the hips. <laughs> and of course the side body, mm -hmm. which is what we're focusing on today. Let's take a breath in, and your exhalation, bend your knees, look up between your hands. Inhale, you can either lightly jump to the front of the mat, or you can walk or step in. Feet hip width apart. Look up, breathe in. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Good. Exhale, your hands to your heart. Lovely. Bring your hands to your hips. And again, we're gonna work with the uh, hands holding onto the elbows again. And this time I really want you to think about the lobes of your lungs. So um, we're gonna breathe fully. With each breath, we're gonna to continue to draw navel back to spine, each exhalation, and just see if we can take the stretch deeper. So take a full breath in, reach your arms up and lower the ears. Exhale, take a hold of the elbows, lean to the left. Good, take a full breath in, exhale just a third, exhale another third, and another third, Ooh, good stretch, inhale come up centre, let's do the other side, breath in, exhale fully, inhale just a third, exhale, and another third, Last third. Inhale, centre. Exhale, hands to your hips. Good, so we're going to take our legs wide now. So you might want to face us, taking your feet pretty wide, not too wide. Sometimes I see people go so wide, you know, that there's no strength, there's no power in the legs. So you want them pretty wide, second toes forwards, arms out to the side. You should have your heels under your wrists, all right? So if we bring our hands to our hips, we're gonna to continue to stretch the hamstrings and do a little, little twist as well. And then we're gonna take these stretches a little bit deeper. So take a full breath in, exhale, hinging from the hips, come forwards. Find the floor with both fingertips. And if you can't find the, find the floor, see if you can place your hands onto a couple of blocks, or you may need to bend the knees a little bit. We're gonna take our right hand, out in front of us. Okay, right hand out in front of us. And quite a long way out, so it's not between the legs or anything. I want the side body long. Okay, we're gonna inhale, raise our left arm, and exhale, turn the right side of our chest up to the ceiling more without twisting the hips. So I'm gonna keep the sacrum nice and steady, nice and balanced. Full breath in. Exhale, navel to spine. Again, see if you can turn right side of chest up to the ceiling wall. Head back. Imagine right hand is glued to the floor and when you breathe in, you're trying to push it to the right, but it's glued to the floor. But it will just give you that resistance to turn more on the breath out. Good, we'll take one more hit. Full breath in, look down. Exhale, left hand will come to the floor. Inhale, right arm will come up. Good, we take a full breath in. Push left hand away to the left, but it's glued to the floor. And then exhale, can we turn left side of the chest up to the ceiling wall. Breath in, look down, exhale, both fingertips to the floor. Bend your knees slightly, turn your toes out to the sides. These are gonna come up to God, I suppose. So bring both hands to your thighs. <laughs> Having a funny hair day today. Both hands to your thighs. Try not to let your knees override your heels. So knees over heels, you want the knees wide. Also try not to let the knees knock in. 
That's not a good look either, and it's also not good for your knees. So knees are out over heels. Now, so I want you to tuck your bum under and bring your pelvis forwards rather than shine your bum to the wall behind you, or the person behind you in my case. Bum tucks under, chest lifts. Now can we bring our hands to our heart? Smile while you're here. It's the only thing that's gonna get you through, your smile and your breath. floor again turn your toes forwards legs straight this time left hand's going to be out in front right arm's going to slide under left armpit and come and hook around the left ankle good now can you walk your left hand over to the right so just getting that lovely stretch again through the side body and you're pulling on your outer legs it could be the outer thigh outer calf or outer ankle just be a little flexible the hand will be higher up the leg Okay, really pull the leg to get a stretch through both sides here. Cross the top of the shoulders, through the side body, get into costal muscles and under the armpits. Keep the weight even through your feet. Breathe fully. release oh just pause for a moment in the middle you can bend your knees a little bit if you like and notice wow a lot of spaciousness there now let's take the other hand right hand in front left arm's going to come and grab outer leg either thigh calf or ankle right hand now walks over to the left as much as possible try and stay up on fingertips if you can pull on the right leg with the left arm so you get a stretch across the back of the left shoulder. Enjoy it. Such a wonderful stretch. When I teach this in my classes, I get noises. <laughs> Especially people who've been sitting in an office all day. It's a really good stretch. When you've been slumped at a chair perhaps or Head looking at a computer all day. Great stretch for the shoulders. Good, let's release it. Walk your hands back. Yeah, lovely guys. Bend the knees a little bit, bring hands to hips. Inhale, come up, leading with your collarbones. Oh, feels good, hey? <laughs> good. Maybe you can see it in our eyes. We're like, whoa, ding. Very sparkly. Okay, from here, we're going to turn right foot out to the side. Please do the same. Have your right heel in line with the instep of your back foot. Then I want you to just gently turn left hip forwards. Push your left inner thigh back and make your back leg really dominant. Bend your front knee. So you have front knee over front heel. You may need to move, make a longer, slightly longer stance. If you're more flexible here and open in the inner thigh. All right. So today we're going to bring right forearm to this front thigh. Good, so left hip forwards, right buttock tucked under, inner left thigh pushing back. Good, once more let's bring our left arm out in front, plug it in, full breath in, exhale, sweep the arm, the arm, the arm, over the ear. Try not to let your right hand just flop down, we want to keep energy in every part of the body. Always in yoga. Every part of your body is connected, intricately connected, through not just through muscles and bones, but your cells and energy, meridians, chakras. So breathe fully, keep the body awake, keep the body spacious. From here, we're going to drop down to triangles. You're going to take a breath in, straighten front leg. We're going to keep the left arm as it is, but drop right hand down behind the right heel. Straighten front leg. Good. 
Left arm is straight. Great all over body stretch. Now, if you wish to, Brian didn't want me to put this in, but I'm going to. If you wish to, you can imagine you're now holding your beach ball. All of the weight needs to now move into the back leg. You can bend the front knee slightly and come up. Big beach ball. Two more breaths, you can do it. One more. Well done, come all the way up. Ooh, hand tips. <laughs> Turn right foot in. It's <laughs> woken us up even more. Turn left foot out. Tip right hip in slightly. So there's an, always an inner rotation of the back leg in our warrior stances. An outer rotation of the front leg. You can bend the front knee. Again, find that knee over heel. Knee should be pointing towards second or third toe as well. Good, so once we've got the lower half in position, we bring left forearm to left thigh, awaken the fingers, and we bring right arm in front. Draw the arm bone in, and then sweep that arm sweetly over the ear. Breathe fully, enjoy your breath, enjoy the stretch. It's quite a wide stance, this Pajvokanasana. This is just a modified variation. The forearm on the front thigh. Smile sweetly. Engage with your breath. Engage with spaciousness and invite possibility in. You need to with this pose. When the going gets tough, can you still stay open? That's the question. Good, full breath in, straighten front leg. Exhale, find the floor with your left fingertips or hand can be onto a block or to the outer leg here. Okay, arm stays over. So it's a side stretch triangle. Arm over the ear. Are you ready for your beach ball? Those of you who are going for it, bend the front knee like slightly because we don't want to lock out the knee. Ground down through the back foot very powerfully. Let's bring it up. Let's do it. Big beach ball. Powerfully breathe. Your breath will hold you here. It will give you empowerment and strength. Then inhale, bring you up. Exhale, hands to the hips, turn left foot forwards. Good, lovely. You can step or jump your feet back together. Ooh. <laughs> Come back to the front of your mat. Ah. So we only got a little bit more to do. We're going to kind of bring you down to the floor, continue working with some side stretches, and we have a balance as well. Take a full breath in, reach up. Palms together, exhale, softly bow forwards over your legs. Inhale, look up. Exhale, downward dog. Oh, back to downward dog. We love our downward dogs. Come back to your rhythm. Okay, listen guys, we're going to do a couple of side planks, one each side. I'm going to give you some variations. So you're going to breathe in, look up. Exhale, come onto the outer edge of your left foot. Now, if you struggle with side plank, I would suggest you step your right foot up in front, halfway over, halfway across your mat with your foot. All right, so there's your modified option. Otherwise, today, we're stepping right foot behind left. We're going to take our arm, plug it in, breathe in and exhale, slide over the ear. Just see if you can lift the left side of your chest to the ceiling. Big, make this pose you. Make it about expression, breathe into it. Enjoy the lovely stretch. Really push away with the left hand. Feels good, doesn't it, Bro? Yeah, great. Adjust the ear when you think, you can't hold it anymore. One more breath. 
Exhale, ground down the dog. Ooh. <laughs> Inhale, look up between your hands, just do the other side. Exhale, come onto the outer edge of your right foot. So remember, you've got the modified to step left foot across if you want to. Otherwise, left foot behind. All right, make as much space between your armpit and the floor as you can by pushing right arm and pushing right hand into the mat powerfully. Arm out in front, breathe in, plug in. Exhale, sweep it over. Good, try and twist right side of the chest up to the ceiling. Right side of the chest up to the ceiling. Look up at the ceiling. We had enough fire. Breath in. Exhale, down dog. <laughs> well done. Couple of breaths in your down dog. Longer if you if you really love it. And then you can come back to child pose. So inhaling, come onto your knees, exhaling, child pose. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Soften. You can rest your arms alongside your body. Soften the center of the shoulder blades. And just be, be present with your breath and whatever you're feeling. back to a state of quiet introspection. Sun says, be your own illumination. Ren says, sing your heart out all day long. Stream says, do not stop for any obstacle. Oak says, when the wind blows, bend easily and trust your roots to hold. Stars say, what you see is one small slice of a single modest galaxy. Remember that vastness cannot be grasped by mind. Ant says, small does not mean powerless. Small does not mean powerless. Silence says nothing. In the quiet, everything comes clear. I say, limitless. I say, yes. You are limitless. Be open to all possibilities. Invite all possibilities in. From your child pose, now bring your hands to the sides of your knees. Lift yourselves up for knee, to kneeling. Good. So we're going to take some variations on side stretches now. We're going to stretch left leg out along the floor. We're going to take our cushions back too, but I would suggest you do. Either your flat block or your cushion. Left leg out along the floor, right foot comes into the inner thigh. All right. So we're going to breathe in, raise our right arm. Again, I want that slight plugging in of the arm into the socket as you exhale, come across. And for some of you, you'll just be taking your hand to the outer thigh, outer calf perhaps. For Brian and I, we're a little bit more flexible because we do this all the time. We're going to take our outer foot. All right, so with the left hand still to the side of your hip, take a breath in, look up. And on your exhalation, just try and soften. And you're trying to knead the right side body across to the left leg. And in fact, we could just, let's just turn our head and look over our left shoulder just to encourage that twist. Breathe in, sweep right arm up, and exhale, take right fingertips behind this time. 
and we're going to take the left back of hand to the inner leg. We're going to push into that inner leg and make the inner leg resist because now you can see as I push in, make it resist, I can twist more and I look towards the back of my mat, tip your chin up, inhale, raise right arm, in line with the ear, exhale, slide left hand further down the body and just ease into this stretch. Again, if you're more flexible, you can take hold of the foot with your left hand, otherwise your hand will just be here, middle leg, inner thigh, and you're still getting this lovely side stretch. Now, if I breathe in, push foot into inner thigh and make inner thigh push back. As I exhale, I can really get a juicier stretch through that side body. Inhale, let's bring it up. And exhale, release. And we're going to do the other side. So let's change that stretch. Right foot forward, sole of the left foot to the inner leg. Right hand starts off to the side of the hip. We inhale, raise left arm. Plug it in a little bit. And then as you exhale, you're going to take the palm of the hand to the outer leg, maybe the thigh, the calf or the outer foot. Now I say hand rather than back of the hand because I don't want too much outer rotation in the forearm. So when the palm is down, forearm inner rotates, but we want the upper arm to outer rotate. So can you just allow your shoulder to drop and outer rotate back arm? And then you're leading left side of the chest across the right leg. You're looking towards your right shoulder and you're breathing, you're allowing, inviting spaciousness into that left side again. Good, time to look forwards, inhale, raise left arm. Bring it up, stretch, exhale, release. Okay, take the back of your right hand to the inner leg. Good, so we're going to twist. Left hand's going to be behind you. Back of right hand, inner leg. Push into the inner leg as you twist and turn. Look over your left shoulder, chin up. Inhale, raise left arm, plug it in a little bit. Exhale, slide right hand further down the leg. Either take the inner foot or back of hand, inner leg. So remember this, really helps, breathe in, push the inner leg back into the foot, breathe out, it'll allow you to go deeper. It just gives a steadiness, a groundedness to your sit bones and your hips. Inhale, bring the arm up, release, exhale, Whew. bring the legs in, give them a little hug, they've worked hard, so have you. Okay. From here, Brian and I are going to turn to face the front, so if you turn and face us too, that would be good. We're going to stretch our right leg out along the floor. With the left leg, we're going to literally take hold of the left foot. We're going to hitch the foot off the floor. We're going to take a breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to see if we can straighten that leg. Ooh. You might find you can just bend it. It doesn't go straight. But otherwise, I just see the camera through my arm here. Straighten the leg. Those of you more flexible, full breath in. Exhale, draw the leg a little bit closer, but stay sitting up very tall. This is why we're sitting on our 
blocks on our blocks or you or cushions still because it will keep you sitting much more upright you don't want this to happen okay you don't want a roundedness through the back you want crown of the head up to the ceiling sit tall you may find it easier here to have the right leg bent it's totally up to you okay we breathe in we release that we stretch it out along the floor we bring the other leg in again we take a hold of the foot we hitch the foot off the floor we take a breath in straighten leg remember modified option bend left leg in hamstring stretch breathe into it guys we just got one more inner thigh stretch to do after this and then our apex pose then we're going to bend the leg in release it down stretch it out along the floor then just take your legs wide all right so again do sit yourself up here legs wide for you might be a lot less you can probably feel it you know just having your legs this far apart so really feel what's right for you here okay so legs wide begin with your hands on your hips you might want to actually just begin by rolling the flesh of the inner thighs in okay sit nice and tall hands hips take a full breath in turn the baby toes up to the sorry baby toes all of the toes up to the ceiling and as you exhale you can just bring your hands to the floor bit wider than shoulder width and tip your upper body forwards now for some of you this may be the pose you're like oh yeah sweet stretch through those inner thighs for others you know your limits so open up to possibility open up to your breath push your big toes away pull your baby toes up really keeping those muscles alive these adductor muscles keeping them nice and strong to work with the stretch so feet always need to be strong and alert you like every pose whether we're standing doing floor poses doing balances or side planks or back bends or inversions the feet are always awake the feet are the grounding to every pose and you may find you can come onto forearms only if that's an option for you guys remember i said if you're less flexible this is perfectly acceptable like yeah i have an inner thigh stretch i'm just going to breathe into it otherwise you do want the arms wide so the shoulders are collarbones are lengthening open because you don't want to hunch the shoulders you want to be lifting the chest forwards keeping the back of your neck long especially if you're going deep into the pose and then you can gently come back up oh legs in give them a hug all right so this apex pose now is called sundial and basically i'm going to tie you up like a pretzel and please remember that this pose or just know that this pose does require a lot of flexibility and quite often if I'm teaching this in a class and somebody knows they're not as flexible you know their body's not able to do it I say sit and watch sit and watch one day you'll get here so if you don't think this is for you then you can watch all right we're gonna take our let's say the left leg down um, so the outer edge of the foot is on the floor, knee out to the side, and then we're going to, we're going to straighten up the right leg, just as we have done. All right, this time 
We're going to take left hand to the outer right foot, bend the knee, and we're going to see if we can just try and swing this leg right onto our upper arm. So some of you, it might just be around about the elbow. Others of us, we can really swing this up to the upper arm or shoulder. So just kind of feel your way, have a little go with that, swing it up. Right, now this right arm, I want you to take your upper arm and push the inner thigh back with the right upper arm. All right, then arm straight, fingertips to the floor, facing the end of your mat. All right, now, so it's just taking you there in little baby steps now. Can you turn your left elbow up to the ceiling? Now can you peer up under your left armpit? Can you take a breath in and exhale, extend the right leg more? Now don't overdo this because you may find, oh, my leg doesn't straighten here, okay? So don't do this if your leg doesn't straighten, clearly. Full breath in, exhale, extend. Keep working with the breath. See where you get to with it. All right, so once you're here, you breathe in, push the arm back into the leg more and exhale, look up. Try and turn your chest away from your leg, the right side of your chest away from the right leg. Look up and then smile. If that is possible and please do breathe. All of the poses have worked towards this. Ooh, gently release. If you didn't get there, it's okay, you know. There is no competition in yoga. It's really just about practicing and knowing what's right for your body. So let's try that on the other side. So right leg's gonna come in, outer edge of the foot on the floor. We're gonna take the left foot. We're gonna straighten the leg. We're gonna take right hand to the outer foot then. We're going to bend the leg in, take your left arm on through the inner leg and out to the side, fingertips to the floor. All right. With the arm, you're going to push that inner leg back. Okay. Keep pushing it back. Now turn your right elbow up to the ceiling. Peer up under your right armpit and look up. You keep pushing the leg back with the other, the left upper arm. If you're able to straighten the leg out to the side. And again, if you're able to smile. Ah, such a juicy stretch. So for those of us more flexible, we just love this because it's such a good stretch for our side body. And if you're not there, it really doesn't matter. As I said before, let go of it. Couple more breaths, turning the body away from the left leg. Breath in. Oh, release. We certainly have today. Everybody. Good, bring your knees in. Give yourself a wonderful, loving, soft, tender hug and bow your head. So if your mind isn't open to all possibilities and feeling spacious, your body most certainly is. And you know, it's when the body is spacious that the mind follows. Would you like to lie down now? Good. Um, you can take the cushion out from underneath you now, Bright. Let's take it to the side for later. We're going to lie down on our backs. Okay. Just for a couple of cool down poses now. So with the knees bent, Let's first of all take bridge pose. So knees are over heels, arms alongside the body. Take a breath in, lift the hips up. Clasp your hands underneath you. Ground your upper arms into the mat. Press the back of the head into the mat. Tips of the shoulders into the mat, inner feet ground. Breathe, feel nice after all those poses. that 
Take your bum down. Oh. Stretch your left leg along the floor. Bring your right knee to the chest. Just draw the knee towards your right armpit. And then place your left hand to your outer right knee, your right arm out along the floor. Oops, <laughs> you may touch my leg, darling. Take a full breath in and exhale, draw the leg over to the left. So we just get to open up that shoulder again. Your head can be in a neutral position or it can turn towards your right hand. Passive stretch, we can really let go of the Jaya breath, just be. Okay, bring the knee back up. Stretch that leg out along the floor. Bring the left knee in. Take a hold. Gently draw the knee towards armpit. And this is not comfortable holding the front of the shin, you could take the underneath thigh instead. Then the right hand will come to the outer knee. Left arm this time along the floor, breath in. Exhale, draw the leg across. Oh. And we open up the other shoulder again. And this is, you know, I'm bringing you down. So just allow the breath to soften. Notice how you're feeling, notice the spaciousness. To your inner body. Your lungs will love you for this class. Breathe in, bring your knees back up centre. Let's bring both knees into the chest now. And with your hands just on the knees, I'd like to just gently rock on your sacrum. So from side to side, that's the top of your bum. Just from side to side, over the base of the tailbone. And then actually let's bring this into circles, just circling the knees. One way, big circles, and then in the other direction. So just massaging the sacral, massaging the glutes, a little bit of the lower back. Okay, and then bring yourself to centre. Stretch your right leg out along the floor. Brian will have a big smile on his face in a moment. Stretch your left leg out along the floor. Okay, so you're going to come into Shavasana. This relaxation pose, the best part of our practice. As you take the backs of your hands to your, onto the floor, connect first finger to thumb. Stretch your legs away. Turn big toes in towards each other. So the inner thighs. Inner rotate a little bit and then allow the feet to open. Good. And make sure there's spaciousness between your sit bones grounding and your shoulder blades grounding. So there's a little space for your lumbar spine. Make sure there's space between your head and your shoulders. Let your eyes close very softly. Relax your cheeks, relax your tongue. Invite possibility in. Allow. Allow yourself to drop into a higher state of consciousness. You've done all the work to get here. Now just be. Imagine you are just a cloud in the vastness of the sky. You are no longer separate. An atom in the universe. Spirit 
oneness. Let yourself go there, don't fight it, just breathe. Enter into a higher state of consciousness that has no beginning or end, just space. Begin to deepen your breath.
and witness, observe the whole feeling that is you in this moment. No movement yet. This is the sweet spot when we come out of relaxation and we don't move. This is when we absorb spaciousness, freedom, mind, body and soul. So I always like to encourage you to absorb this moment, bathe in this moment, be present with this moment. Know that you can tap into this moment anytime you want to with your yoga practice. Notice the steadiness of your breath now. The steadiness of your mind as well as your body. And now you can start to wake up your body. Now you've observed, now you've experienced. Wake up your body, start to move, fingers, toes, however you like to wake up. You might like to stretch, you just draw your knees into your chest. Gently rock again. Rocking is so comforting, we often encourage rocking in yoga comforting and calming and then roll to your side let's take some time here and while you rest on your side I'm going to ask you the question is can you allow possibility in maybe when I asked you this earlier you thought mm, yeah I have a lot of those things she questioned she she asked but now how do you feel now after you practice can you open yourself up enough to allow new things in? Step out of your comfort zone, try new things, seize the moment. Be curious, be open. Not give in to fear or negativity. So this is where the work comes. We have to put in the time to allow ourselves to be more open. You know, each morning when you jump out of bed for your coffee, for your shower, stop and say, today I believe anything is possible. Today is going to be a special day. Today I'm open. Open your eyes, bring yourselves up to seated. And then let's just close our practice in the way we began. A comfortable seat up on your cushion, close your eyes, hold your hands to your heart. Be lifted in a body bright, spaciousness, bathing in it all. Bow your head to your hands. Anything is possible, stay open forever so open it hurts. And then open some more. Until the day you die, world without end. Amen. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this practice. I hope you're feeling really spacious. We'll see you again soon. Take care. Namaste. <laughs>